Novavax down sharply this morning on the report that the company is having manufacturing issues with its COVID vaccine. Meg Terrell joins us right now on the Squawk Newsline with more on this story. And Meg, what's happening here? The stock's off by about 21%. Yeah, Becky, I mean, this vaccine has had just a roller coaster ride throughout the pandemic, and it's had a lot of manufacturing delays already. The clinical results looked actually incredibly good, more than 90 percent efficacy uh, for this company. And so the stock had just run up incredibly. They had a lot of U.S. support, more than a billion dollars from Operation Warp Speed. This company was really resurrected from the brink. Um, when this pandemic came along and they showed that their technology could potentially be useful. But this political report today details what's kind of been simmering for a while now, which is that it appears the company is having real problems making this vaccine and doing it in a way that has a uh, few enough impurities that it can pass the regulatory tests. Uh, that it needs to be able to make it in huge quantities around the world. And what's really concerning about this, beyond just for the company itself, is that this vaccine is important for the global effort of vaccinating the world. They've made a lot of promises um, to the global vaccine effort. And if they cannot get this vaccine manufactured in a pure enough way and in large enough doses, uh, then that's going to deal a real blow to the global vaccination effort. So we've been seeing this delay in manufacturing quarter after quarter, it gets pushed back. And this company does not yet have emergency use authorization, despite having presented its phase three results months ago, phase three results that looked really, really good. Um, this is a protein vaccine, so it would present a new technology, one that is more familiar for vaccines. Uh, it's the one that Sanofi and GlaxoSmithKline are also working on. Uh, so it's a, it's a real disappointment from a global vaccine equity standpoint, and also obviously more for uh, Novavax's shareholders who are just seeing another delay here, potentially into next year, if they can even get this going. Hey, Meg, um, if this is a new company and, and they're not familiar with maybe the logistics of a grand manufacturing plan to be delivering vaccines around the globe, why not take a partner? I mean, Johnson & Johnson and others have partnered up. That is a question a lot of people in the industry have been asking. And this actually isn't a new company. They've been around for decades, but they have just uh, not successfully gotten a vaccine across the finish line. And, and I guess I mean, to pandemic. manufacturing a, a vaccine on such a large right, scale. at this scale. Right. Absolutely. You know, a lot of folks have pointed that out. Why not partner them up with a, a GSK? And, of course, GSK is working with Sanofi on a vaccine. Um, why not partner them with Merck instead of putting Merck together with Johnson & Johnson? A lot of people have said the U.S. government should have stepped in and facilitated a relationship like that, and it's really unclear why that did not happen.